What's up coaches? All right. What if all of your leads were inbound, they were pre-qualified and they were all just ready to say yes to working with you? Well, guess what? That's available to you, coach. Look, Matt did it with Beyond Macros Nutrition Coaching, and I did it with Certified Course Creation. So over the next few minutes, I am going to give you the exact sources and systems to have a completely referral-based nutrition coaching business. How amazing does that sound? If you'd like to grab our free business health chat course to see if referrals are the easiest lever for you to pull to have a more impactful and profitable nutrition coaching business, just type health check below. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Kate Hadamio, and I'm the co-owner of Beyond Macros, where we teach nutrition coaches just like you how to build a nutrition coaching business that they love, that's both profitable and impactful through our VIP coach mentorship programs. So let's just go ahead and dive right in because this is super juicy and having a referral-based business feels so aligned and flowy. All right. So Here's the thing. So many coaches feel really weird about asking their clients or like anybody for referrals. And so if you're there right now, I get it. We've all been there. But the truth is when you have a referral based coaching business, one where you like you barely do any selling, you feel much more relaxed and happy in your business. You know that there are clients lined up to work with you and that there is guaranteed consistent income coming in. So because of that, you're a better coach and you can help your clients get better results. So this flowy aligned strategy, it's really easy and check this out. So there are three main sources and the strategies that go along with them. Source number one is your current clients. And the system here, is just to know when to ask. It's truly that simple. The best times to ask your current clients for referrals are when they first enroll with you, when they're really excited and they could use an accountability partner outside of you that would, you know, help them along and, you know, help kick their butt into shape just like you're doing. And when they have, when they experience like a big breakthrough, a big win, a big transformation. So to turn asking for referrals into a system that you will stick with Simply build the ask into your enrollment scripts right at the end when you're, you know, you've taken their payment, they're super excited and they're ready to go. That is a great time to ask for the referral. And I also want you to build it in to your client check-in agendas. This is going to make sure that you make asking for referrals a habit, right? So I find it's best to ask for referrals when you're on a call and then the client and you can both share the excitement and celebration. It's okay for your client to give you someone's name and phone number to reach out, but it's even better when they can personally make that connection for you over email, text, messenger, whatever it is, like that three-way communication introduction is best. And you guys can all celebrate each other and these massive wins together. All right. So the second source is your past clients, right? So reach out to the ones that you've loved working with that achieved massive results. And what's really great here is like, just reach out to sincerely check on their progress. You can do this about once a quarter or so and really take it from just the energy of wanting to see how they're doing, right? They're still kicking butt and taking names. That's amazing. Celebrate them and ask who else they know that's just as awesome as they are that would benefit from working with you. And hey, listen, if if they've kind of fallen back into some old patterns and they're looking for your help, this is a great time to re-enroll them. So past clients can actually become referrals for themselves. Guess what? Like our client, Paul, did just this and he ended up re-enrolling some returning clients and he got a referral from this. Like this is a really powerful tool and it's so simple and available to you right now in your business. And so is this final source and that's other people's networks. So I would look specifically at gyms, at personal trainers, at other health practitioners, massage therapists, chiropractors, acupuncturists, things like that in your, in your field. You can also look at strategic power partners and creating those. So The simple system for this is to simply first look into your current connections and see who you already know that has an audience of your soulmate clients. And you just think of a way to make the situation a win-win-win. So for example, like the win is the person that's referring to you receives a small referral incentive. The person that they're referring obviously receives a huge incentive because they're getting this huge transformation by working with you. And of course you get a new client and you're growing your business. So simply reach out to them and schedule a call and see how that could work. Don't be shy. This truly is a win all around. Now you do want to create a very simple tracking system for yourself to track your referrals. And you're going to quickly find out who your best referral sources are. So you know where to devote your 
time and energy. And this system can be as basic as like a Google sheet and it can include like the name of the person referring, the name of the referral and where you're at in that process. Like introduction, nurture, discovery, enrollment, things like that. Now, when it comes to giving out referral incentives too, I find that the gyms, the personal trainers, health practitioners, they really enjoy receiving like a small referral commission, but clients and past clients, they really love receiving like special personalized little gifts. Whatever you decide to give as referral incentives, it's a best practice to do it quickly. Make sure that you send out their, their incentives very shortly after the client enrolls. And listen, even if the client doesn't enroll, sending out a handwritten thank you card is very well received and you stay top of mind and you let people know that you're grateful for what they've done to you. Gratitude is a magnet for abundance. Remember that. All right. Referral-based businesses, they grow with ease. Oh my gosh. And you're almost guaranteed to only work with soulmate clients. Key to implementing these strategies and making them work for you though, is truly your mindset. So I just want to offer you this thought to take with you each time you are planning to ask for a referral. It's not about me. It's about them. Yes, you have something to gain financially from investing your time, your experience, your heart into working with your clients, but it's them who ultimately receive a priceless transformation. And the ripple effect of a referral that turns into a client that achieves a massive result is huge. And when you remember that, consistently asking for and receiving referrals is what will lead you to having a completely referral-based nutrition coaching business. It's not about me, it's about them. I have done this myself with certified course creation. And Matt's done it so well, so well with Beyond Macros that we still get inquiries looking for nutrition coaching. And do you know what we do with those? We refer them out to our amazing coaching client. So now, if you'd like to grab a free copy of our free business health check course to see if referrals are the easiest lever for you to pull right now in your business so that you can have the most impactful and profitable nutrition coaching business that you absolutely love, simply type check below. But coach, look, ask for those referrals. Ask and you shall receive, especially when you adopt that mindset in this thought. It's not about me, it's about them.